Welcome to today's blog. My name is Eva Helps with Siler Design Solution, and today we're going to take a quick peek on how to create a surface profile from an alignment and a profile view from that surface profile. Hello again, and welcome to this blog. We are going to learn how to create surface profiles today. Just a quick surface profile from the alignment um, we created in the last video. So to do so, uh, you'll see I have a little subdivision type drawing here inside of it. There's a couple different alignments. We've got a surface here. You can always come over to your tool space and look through all the data you have inside your prospector here. If you look at your surfaces, whoops, you can see you have that existing surface there. If you look at your alignments, You'll see you have multiple alignments in here. All these streets are individual alignments. So what we are going to do is hop up to the Home tab here on the ribbon, go to the uh, Create Design panel, and drop down the little arrow next to the profile there. The top one is Create Surface Profile. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Um, you can see you can drop down and choose the alignment here. If you don't remember, say, what the names are of these streets, you can always click this little green cube and just pick that directly from your drawing. Over here, you have the, if there were multiple surfaces in here, you would see those listed here. And we're going to go ahead and select this existing surface. Again, you have the green cube. If you didn't know which surface you wanted to use, um, you can always pick that inside your drawing graphically as well. Once you've selected the surface that you want, you can go ahead and select this Add button here, and you'll see that drop down this profile right below. You can go through and look as the name, um, the data source, the offset if you wanted to create an offset, um, whether it's dynamic, uh, the style that you want the profile to show up, as and some other information including the start and stop um, stations and minimum and maximum elevations. So once you have that you can either select OK or you can go ahead and use this button here to draw it in a profile view. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this in a profile view so we can see what that alignment looks like across that existing surface. Once you select that uh, profile view button there you'll see you have some more options here which alignment you want you can name that profile view um, if you keep that parent alignment name and then the next counter it's just kind of a easy way to keep track of it there you can write a description if you want here you can prick pick out the profile view style um, do the major grids a bunch of other different things uh, depending on what either you've created or what you have as the default civil 3D styles here. We're going to go ahead and just do, uh, we'll just leave it as the major grids and high point. You can also choose a different layer if you'd like. Go ahead and hit next and you'll see it's going through these menus over here on the side to the station range. Say you just wanted to see a specific um, station to station. You can either write that in here, type that in there, or you can again use these little buttons here and pick a station anywhere along that alignment to start and anywhere to stop. I'm going to go ahead and select this automatic again so it automatically chooses the start and the end of that profile of that alignment and hit next. Here you can choose the profile view height. So say you wanted to show, you know, X amount of feet below, above, you could do this user specified and pick those elevations. Otherwise the automatic will give you a good idea of how that profile looks against that surface. Go ahead and select next. And here you have some of the profile display options, the same ones that you saw when we created 
the majority of these are the same ones we saw when we created that profile originally. So you can choose the style, the labels in here. I'm going to go ahead and put a complete label set in there just so we can see what that looks like. And again, some of that same information we just talked about when we created the profile. Go ahead and select next. Since there are no pipes, uh, pipe networks or pressure pipes in here, that's not an option to add those into the profile view. But if you did have those in your drawing, you could go through that menu and add the specific pipes from specific networks um, into this profile view as well. Uh, for the data bands, you can change the style. Uh, we're going to leave it as elevation and stations, but you could see if you had a different agenda, you could uh, maybe you were trying to find out the cut data or uh, just one of the stations. You can select different styles inside of there as well. I'm going to go ahead and select next. And profile hatch options. So say you had two surfaces and you wanted to show some hatch options in between those sur surfaces or depending on area or fill area or if you had multiple boundaries you could you could hatch those to highlight those inside your profile view. We're just going to go ahead and go to create profile view. You're going to want to find somewhere in your drawing that's not going to interfere with your design. I'm just going to select somewhere out here in model space. Let's go ahead and left click and you'll see it drops that uh, profile view right here in your drawing. Once you've dropped your profile in here, you can select different entities and you'll see this blue outline modification ribbon pops up so you can edit the labels, <clears throat> edit label text, reverse labels, do all sorts of things depending on what you select in here. If you select the actual profile, you'll see over here in the properties, that's that existing ground profile um, and change some of the settings inside the properties there as well. I'm just going to leave it. Uh, the purpose of this video was just a quick little tutorial on how to create that profile in profile view, surface profile in profile view. Uh, one quick other note, once you have created that, you'll notice in your prospector under alignments, the name of the alignment now has this little yellow triangle there indicating that there's more data inside of there. And now you see that it has a profile for that existing surface and a profile view. If you expand these other ones that don't have that little yellow triangle, you'll notice there's nothing else inside of there. So uh, just a note on that. So again, just a quick little how-to on how to create that surface profile and pop it into a profile view right there in your model space. All right, thanks for watching. Feel free to reach out to us at Siler Design Solutions if you have any further CAD needs or questions about this blog or just in general. You can email us at cadtechnical at silerinst.com or check out our other blogs at siler-ds.com forward slash blog.